Hi guys, and welcome to a new tutorial. Today, we're gonna create a web service with REST APIs in under five minutes. So for this purpose, I'm using Visual Studio Code, which you can find under code.visualstudio.com. It's not required to use this editor, but I use it because it's fast and it's open source and the community is just wonderful. So if you have any issues, go to the GitHub page of Visual Studio Code. Second thing which is required is to use the .NET Core framework. So just head over to .NET.Microsoft.com, uh, go to the download section, and we're going for .NET Core 3.0. On our purpose, we just need the SDK. So hit download, download it, and install it. After you have downloaded and installed it, you have access to the .NET CLI. The CLI stands for Command Line Interface. So if you're firing up the terminal and typing in .NET, we see that .NET is already installed on my machine. If you haven't installed it and you type in .NET, an error will appear. As I said, we're using the CLI, the command line interface, for creating a new project. You can also use it to add packages, dependencies to your project and to, to run it and debug it. For my purpose, I just switched to the desktop, uh, create a new directory, which I will call web service uh, demo. Um, switch to the directory. And now the interesting um, things will happen. We just type in .NET and the new keyword because we're going to create a new project. And then you have some various templates which are provided by the CLI. And today we're going to type in Web API. So that's um, the thing that creates the controllers. And the controllers are simply endpoints if you're talking about REST. We're just hitting enter. Uh, the project got um, created. If you have installed VS Code, you just can type code and dot, and the current directory gets open in VS Code. From just have a look at our project structure. Um, the most important thing basically is the startup, where everything is configured in our application. So um, the controllers, which um, we will look just in a minute, um, are added to our services. Oh uh, yeah, it's HTTPS is um, um, redirection, so we get redirected, use routing, authorization, whatever. Um, those things are important if you are using those things. Right now we are not using it, so we can remove the authorization and the redirection. We're just working on locally, so we are accessing this um, project with HTTP, so no SSL is required. All right, um, in this demo, we got a weather forecast model defined, which has a date object or date time, the temperature in Celsius, the temperature in Fahrenheit, which already is conversion here. I'm got a summary. This is important because this is used in our weather forecast controller. As we see, um, the controller is an API controller and it uses the route controller. So we should be able to access this when we type in weather forecast. And one thing you have to know is if you're using .NET controllers, the controller naming is always split up the name. So the controller, um, when accessing it externally, is always weather forecast. And as you see here, we got an HTTP GET method, which returns five or so weather forecast objects to the requester. So we're firing up a terminal here. And as I said before, with .NET Run, you can run the application. All right, so it's already started. Uh, we're going to HTTP, localhost 5000. And now if you type in weather forecast, we're seeing we're retrieving data. And that is basically um, this part here. It's returned as an array and it's the range one to five. And that is our web API project in under five minutes. If you want to see how it's done with the traditional Visual Studio or without the core version, you will find it under my blog. Um, just head over to patrickshadler.com and you will find creating REST web server with a .NET Core. And if you go to the search bar, you will also find web server with C-Sharp and Visual Studio. And if you want to add a Swagger documentation for REST services, 
just go there, read it and do it. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, um, please ask them in the comments below. Reach out to me via YouTube or via this blog commented. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.